What's up, pretty gang? It's your favorite nail tech, Peaches, back with another video. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you right out the gate our final result, and next, I'm gonna show you where we started, okay? Now, today is more than just acrylic toes. I'm actually gonna be teaching you a skill that is very significant, and it's something that you will take with you on any type of feat that you do, like, ever in life, okay? So, before we get into that, make sure you guys check the description. My Amazon storefront is updated with some more stuff coupon codes down there follow me on social media and don't forget to subscribe and turn your not notifications on okay all right so first things first we're going to start with prep now i know i said that this isn't going to be directly about you know like how to do acrylic toes per se but in a second i'm going to explain to you exactly the skill that i'm going to be teaching you today okay so if you need a little bit more help with prep or you need um a little more understanding of what it is and blah 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 i did post a recent video on prep now it is on hands but the filing part is a little bit more in detail and in depth and it will give you you know a little bit of help okay so what is the skill that i'm going to teach you today i know you guys are like now peaches girl what are you even talking about i am talking about how to work on people who have ticklish or sensitive feet anything that makes people jump and jolt that's what we're going to be discussing today okay so as you can see you see my footrest is moving right although it doesn't look like her feet are moving the footrest is rocking back and forth because the the motions of the file and me touching her feet and the tickling feeling that's what she describes it as it's like a buzzing tickling it's kind of disrupting her flow so it's kind of making her jolt that can be dangerous not only for you but for the client in itself which is why i want to talk to you about it today now this is a regular of mine her other foot was way more jumpy okay and i do have a video somewhere on my channel of how to work with clients who move a lot like on their hands okay so if you want even more in depth and details you can always go watch that now um this foot you guys can see how i was holding her it wasn't bothering her too too much which it's this is something that you'll be able to easily identify however you may not be able to know if the person is jumpy right off of the bat okay so here we go i'm putting on the acrylic this is gonna probably i think this is um nude me by not polish because i think we did uh, nude panther last time and so as you can see i'm being pretty careful putting the acrylic on like i'm trying not to touch her as much as i can just for the simple fact this is not the time that you want to be having your client moving around so what makes people's feet flick and and jump and push honestly a lot of the times it's going to be the motion of your your hands or if you wear nails that i do sometimes that might tickle people but more often than not it's the actual feeling of the file which is why at this point in time she's doing okay you see what i'm saying so there's not a lot of movement she's relatively still and i'm able to do this okay now what can we do to fix this problem there's nothing you can do to fix the problem. There are some people who will always forever be jumpy and um, or ticklish or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, the next toe, she's fine as well. Um, although I'm holding her pretty similarly to how I did when I used the e-file, this is what I'm telling you is that most of the time it's going to be the hand file or the e-file that gives them such a weird feeling. So no, this is not something that can be corrected or fixed because this is all in the nerves and the sensitivity of the person's foot. Okay, so now let's get on the filing and you guys are going to see watch the footrest and how much that it moves and that will tell you how much she's moving okay so with the file i'm going in mind you i did the other foot already so you can see how her toe keeps hooking downwards the way to combat that when people are moving a lot like this you're gonna have to tighten up your grip it sounds rude it sounds wrong you can apologize if you want like oh hey girl sorry i gotta tighten up i personally like People kind of know how I work. So me personally, I'm probably not going to say anything. I'm just going to, I got to do what I got to do to get this done. More than likely, the client themselves is going to be apologizing because they're moving so much. But you can see that, you know, although I'm not doing anything that would seem to like tickle her or anything, the file itself is giving her a sensation that she says is like tickling her or it's making her skin crawl, whatever that you want to call it. So although it sounds like very harsh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to tighten up your grip a little bit you see how like between my two fingers it's tight you can see her other foot is kind of kicking around because she's trying to hold still but she, you know she's kind of got the jitters at this point um and then also i am reducing the areas like how much area that i am touching on her i'm trying my best not to um in this particular part of the process to touch her with my nails or anything like that because this will slow you down 
if you don't learn how to adjust and get on with it in work you are going to get slowed down okay which is why i want to do this video because this is something that's actually common enough that you may run into this problem and some people which okay rightfully so like the thinking behind it makes sense if you see someone's ticklish i'm going to lighten my touch so i don't touch them actually it's going to make them a little bit more you know jumpy and things like that so you can see once again here i am with the e-file like i said when clients jump like this it is very dangerous which is why i say keep a, a, a steady and more tightened grip because as you can see i am filing and she's kind of jumping around this is not no joke you guys this is an electric machine literally e-file means electric file and i have been in positions where someone is very jumpy and to the point where it, they they jump so much so suddenly that it scared me and them at the same time and the e-file ended up slipping so we don't want to cut anybody and if the person is jumping quite a lot you can pause for a second and be like hey boo I understand this might not this might like tickle you or maybe this is not like the best feeling in the world for you but I do got to get on with this so you know if possible just you know please try and stay a little bit more still Ooh. okay sorry about that you guys um and it kind of like I said I, I'm pretty direct and straight to the point people enjoy that about me there's no need to like beat around the bush however if that's not the delivery you would give that's okay too like I said most times I'm not gonna talk I'm just gonna go ahead and and keep it pushing because I am pretty like I do I do this every day so I do have like a certain type of speed and control to be able to just get it done and move past it but you are also gonna want to make sure that um, you are using an appropriate speed so I highly suggest if possible not using any speeds on the higher side because that can easily aid into cutting them especially when they jump like this so uh, for clients that you're finding are jumpy sometimes or you know ticklish sometimes but not others unfortunately that's going to be determined by the day or by what you're doing and stuff like that because sometimes there's just no rhyme or reason but you need to st you as a nail tech need to stay calm as well which is a great skill you can see like that part really really was getting her um you need to stay um, calm as a nail tech and try not to get too frustrated because that is going to make the client feel uncomfortable and they already feel bad because they understand that it's something that is compromising your job so stay calm you know i also suggest moving moving quick but not in quick of terms of like speed but just swiftness like just basically get on with it and move forward because if you do not you will like aid in how how um like a jumpy they are basically so um i know this is probably a topic i'm not sure if anyone has um covered it before oh you see i just had to pull her forward because she was moving so much that it was keep going back 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 and adjusting the footrest which that's not what we wanted but um yeah i know this is probably like an odd subject to some people but you know what i have learned over the years this is something that really comes in handy. I used to try, like when I was a little bit more in the beginning, try to like, oh, they're jumpy, they're ticklish. Let me take my time. Let me do this. No, but now that I'm more of a, I don't want to say an expert, but you know, I've been doing this for some years now. Over time, you just get comfortable and confident and you're able to do your job in so many types of ways and situations. Um, if I looked, could look back and tell myself something, it would be to just don't be scared. If someone, there's people that are scared, like, oh, you're going to cut me. Oh, I'm jumping. Look, you can see right here. Um, if you know you're not going to cut them, be confident with that and keep your work pushing. Do not compromise um, the way you work just because someone is a little bit ticklish or a little jumpy. Because the slower that you go, um, the worse you're going to make it. Basically, you're going to add on to it. So... Um, I will say, uh, just try to use, once again, like a final recap reminder, use a little bit, um, more pressure and grip, like increased pressure and grip. Um, try not to move too gently. Use slower speeds on the e-file and, um, you know, just move swiftly. Those things are going to help you out a lot. And like I said, sometimes it's for no rhyme or reason. Sometimes people are like that every single appointment. So it's a really, really, really good set of skills to have. So that way, no matter who you work on, whether they're scared or not, you, you know, ticklish or whatever, you're able to still provide them with a great result. So I hope 
this advice helps somebody out there. Um, it can be very difficult to work on ticklish feet, but we always get the job done. Of course, this is the final result. You would never know how jumpy she was. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.